I'm gonna give you six of the best exercises that you can utilize to improve your snatch lockout. And we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in getting more explosive, you wanna improve your mobility, you wanna become a better Olympic weightlifter, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a beast. So you put in weeks upon weeks of training, months upon months of training, you're ready to go out and snatch your PR, you're ready to get up on the stage and show everybody how you're gonna snatch a five kilo PR and what ends up happening. You get a little soft on your catch, you get that red light from a little bit of that elbow shake and all of a sudden all of that hard work, all the effort that you put in on the platform in your training sessions is all for naught because you press out your snatches. And we've gotta think about it. What actually is causing those snatch press outs? What causes somebody to press out a snatch? And ideally, it comes back to that pull and it comes back to understanding how the pull needs to be executed. If you have a more effective pull, that bar is gonna be a little bit tighter and it's gonna get into that slot a little bit more effectively when you're catching a snatch. But we've also gotta think about what happens from a muscular perspective. Typically, if we're thinking about press outs in the snatch, if the bar is forward, what can we do to actually still save that and not press out? We've gotta think about what is going on in our shoulder and in our elbows when we're in that overhead position. And in most cases, if we're talking about elbow extension, it's gonna come back to the triceps. So we gotta think about, okay, now we're in an overhead lockout position. We're in an overhead position. What contributes to shoulder stability and that elbow extension? And that's gonna come back to the long head of the triceps. That's gonna come back to our rhomboid, our traps even, and then our deltoid. So we've gotta look at those muscle groups and also what we're doing in our pull. So if we can isolate our long head of the triceps and improve the strength in our rhomboid and improve our scapular retraction, now all of a sudden we know what we need to do, what we need to train to improve those snatch press outs. So now we're gonna get into the workout so you can see what you can do today, that you can take into the gym, use these as accessories to improve your snatch lockout. Okay, so before we dive into the actual exercises that we're gonna utilize, I, I wanna go over a very quick and brief description of how you should be snatching effectively so that you can prevent your snatch press out. So Haley Reichert is here and she is a 2021 senior national champ. She's a 2021 senior world team member. She's a junior world medalist, youth world medalist. She just got second at the 2020 senior Pan American championship. She is the strongest, the second strongest female in all of the Western hemisphere. And she is gonna be demonstrating what you need to do to effectively snatch. So Haley is gonna get set and we wanna see a nice tight position where the knees clear back right off the floor. So we're gonna pause just below the knee to demonstrate that's where we want the bar to be when we're pulling off the floor. Now as the bar goes through no man's land and we're gonna pause at the reciprocation point right here above the knee. Now that's gonna be nice and tight as it gets into her hips and she finishes her snatch. So we're gonna go through that entire those same exact positions with a little bit slower tempo. And it's really important to understand the actual effective way to pull a snatch movement. Good. To make sure, to make sure that you're not leading to positions where the bar's a little out front or the bar's a little behind and it actually does lead to a press out position. So ideally what we wanna look for is a really, really technically sound position off the floor into the hip. And then on top of that now, as we get into the strengthening exercises that are gonna help improve your snatch lockout, this is what we're gonna be looking for. And then that receiving position is gonna be that much more stable because we're gonna improve our strength of our deltoids, our long head and our tricep, and our rhomboids. Okay, so the first pairing that we're gonna do to improve your lockout in the snatch is we're gonna use an exercise that we call the miracle grow. So this is gonna be almost like a, a little combination of a dumbbell pullover with a, a skull crusher, right? So what we're looking for here is having the, those shoulders retract, okay? We wanna get nice and deep and lengthen the lats so we're gonna be in an overhead position. And then as we get deep and we have a full, we have elbow flexion, so that's gonna lengthen our triceps, we wanna stretch and then come back over top and extend those elbows so we can really improve the lockout position of our elbows in conjunction 
with our scapular retraction and the lengthening of our lats. So this is a really, really good exercise to help improve your lockout. Haley's gonna utilize a 40 as our model for the day. So you have that open palm, elbows flex, get nice and deep and then come back up. Try and lock out back over your face a little more. If you have somebody who could get a little bit deeper, try and hit my toe. This is a little trick here, there you go. That's gonna lengthen the entire range of motion of the, of the exercise as well. So give me three more. And we wanna really focus on when you bring that dumbbell back over your face, squeezing in the abs as well. And that's gonna help improve that lockout position. And now what we like to do is superset this with another movement that's gonna be specific towards the snatch. So if I have someone that does press out their snatches quite a bit, fortunately we don't really have somebody that does that currently. But if we had somebody that does press out their snatches frequently, I like to utilize a tricep exercise and then pair that with a snatch specific exercise. So we're gonna head over to the platform and Haley's gonna show us a snatch press in the hole. Okay, so we're gonna pair that Miracle Grow with that snatch press in the hole. So Haley's gonna get this bar up overhead and then onto her shoulders. And we want her to sit nice and deep in the hole so she's got her snatch grip established and she's gonna drive up, good. So we wanna see her scaps are retracted and her press, her elbows are extending just over her hips right here and she's driving through that full foot. So give me three more. Yeah. One more. Good, perfect. So we're gonna see that fatigue from the miracle grows is gonna lead to this position. And the cool part behind the snatch presses in the hole is that that's teaching the athlete where to be when they actually receive the bar, when they catch the bar in that snatch. So it's not only going to improve their lockout, it's going to improve their mobility in their hips and in their ankles while we're extending more in that thoracic spine. And that's what's gonna to lead to dramatically improving your snatch lockout. So the second pairing of exercises that I like to utilize to improve that lockout is going to be an X band tricep extension superset it with a snatch push press. So what is that X band tricep extension? We wanna see with Haley here, she can stand on the bands. Okay, and we're gonna put that behind her back and then they're gonna cross. And then I typically like to go two fingers in, two fingers out on that grip. Palms will face forward towards the camera and then you get up over top, good. And now what we wanna see is extending out. Okay, so this is one of those cues that you can utilize to improve your lockout is to think about when you catch the snatch is actually like bending that bar down. That's gonna force that retraction in the shoulders and it's gonna force a little bit more shoulder stability. And now when we're targeting with these X-band extensions, we're gonna be targeting the long head of the tricep right here, okay? And we're gonna be focusing on that lockout. And now as Haley gets a little more fatigued, she can even try to add a little more speed on that lockout and pause at the top, good. Give me one more. Good, perfect. So we're gonna sit here, she finishes, let's say she does 15 to 20 reps. She can rest 30 to 40 seconds and we're gonna set up for her to do a snatch push press. Now, typically you wanna be doing a snatch push press off of jerk boxes, okay? Cause you can overload this exercise quite a bit. Haley's gonna demonstrate with 35 kilos but what we wanna see now is that those triceps and that, that shoulder stability that she had in the X-band extensions is gonna transfer over to the snatch push press. So let's get that grip and get that up on your shoulders, Haley. Okay, perfect, good. And we wanna see a little bit of a dip and then a long drive and really extend and drive those shoulders and the elbows. Perfect, good. Give me three more. Two more. Good, good, good. So, some of the big benefits behind the snatch push press is one, it's the snatch grip that you're gonna be utilizing when you're catching a snatch movement. But on top of that, one of those key factors is that you, as you get better at the snatch push press, you can really start to overload the weight. So you might see someone like Haley at some point, you know, she snatched 87 kilos or 88 kilos off of two boxes. She snatched 85 or 86 kilos, 86 kilos off of the floor. So she might be able to do a snatch push press around 90 to 95 kilos if we train this consistently. And when we're pairing that with that X band extension, now that's really going to transfer really, really well. It's gonna be an effective 
pairing of exercises to really dramatically increase the strength of your lockout. Okay, so the last pairing of exercises that we're gonna utilize when we're trying to improve your snatch lockout is going to be a rhomboid fly. So a rhomboid fly is a little bit different from a reverse fly. What we wanna see is you could use an incline bench or you can just get your chest forward about 45 degrees. And we wanna see the dumbbells come back and squeeze your scaps where they're gonna be hugging your spine. So Haley's gonna demonstrate this. Those palms should be facing forward. And we wanna come back, yep, good. And she should be squeezing all in that upper back, trying to really strengthen the rhomboid. So we gotta remember, that's one of the key components. It's a foundation behind catching that snatch and making sure that you're nice and stable in that overhead position. So we'll do 10 to 15 reps here. Give me two more. Haley, are these hard? And then we're gonna come over here to the clockwork tricep extension. So again, when we were talking about the X-band extensions, this is gonna be similar. And we wanna see our knuckles are gonna be in here like gears on a clock, and you're gonna roll those knuckles and really try to extend out at the top. Remember, one of those cues to having a good strong lockout is to bend that bar, to bend that bar in half when you catch. And this is where we're gonna see improving that tricep, that long head of the tricep, and, and utilizing that little gear position with your knuckles is gonna isolate that long head even further to lead to good tricep strength. So do a set of 17 here, and then you can go back over, do 10 to 15 of those rhomboid flies, get three to four sets in. So the rhomboid flies are gonna help improve your upper back, and then when you get back over here to the clockwork extensions, now you can feel your rhomboids and your scaps retracting, and then you can feel your triceps extending in that overhead position, and that's gonna improve your snatch lockout and effectively help you receive a lot more weight overhead without getting those red lights. So remember the key factor behind not pressing out your snatch is understanding how to effectively pull with technique. If your technique is more precise, that bar is gonna be tighter off the hip into that receiving position. So refresh and go over how to actually pull the snatch effectively and what that means. And then you can utilize these six exercises to improve the strength of your deltoids, your rhomboids, and your triceps, especially the long head of your triceps. You can utilize all six of these movements today. Go to the gym, try out at least two of them, and you're gonna feel a whole different feeling that's gonna dramatically help you lock out in that overhead position. If you need help with your programming and you typically do press out your snatches, you can click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com, and you can pick up our snatch press out program that we designed specifically for people who have issues with pressing out their snatch. If you want more content around snatch-based technique, you can click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.